Hi there, Lloyd Macedo. So we you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding? I just want to share with you my experience of, um, you know, uh, interacting with three internet marketers who are predominantly um, selling their services online. And I bumped into these guys because I've been part of this, um, you know, ClickFunnels, ConsultingCommunity.com. Uh, a couple of these, uh, you know, sell your services and all that uh, on Facebook. So I got, I, I bumped into these three guys and I want to share with you my experience of these three guys. The first one was um, um, a young man, really young man. I mean, um, you could, you could straight away make out he's very young, like uh, it must be 13, 14 or 15, a very young boy, I would say. So he he impressed me first by sending me a video message. He didn't send me an email. He didn't send me, um, you know, the normal uh, messaging uh, format that others would send. He sent me, uh, he didn't even send me a YouTube video link. He sent me a video message. So as soon as I clicked on it, I think he was using Zoom. And as soon as, as, soon as I clicked on it, um, it was, uh, you know, a short message where he says, hi, Loy, how are you doing? I checked your website. I was very impressed with it. And, you know, at first he was praising me for being unique and standing out. After that, he mentioned towards the end, Loy, I believe that you should be charging uh, uh, not $150 an hour. You should be charging $150 a second. He said, uh, you are worth 10 times, 20 times much more than what you were. So I was like, uh, you know, the cheeky young bugger. So pretty impressive. And, uh, you know, it was just a, a simple, I think he was holding a handle device and um, sitting on a sofa and just talking. So I sent him a message and I said, uh, okay, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. What do you propose? So when I asked him what do you propose, um, that is where he sent me, uh, uh, you know, I, I think it was copy-paste, definitely a copy-paste. So he said, uh, you know, this is the uh, program that I would recommend to you. And uh, bottom line, he was trying to get me to subscribe to a course that he made, 10 videos, um, you know, uh, and the typical internet marketing, you know, bullshit. It's like these 10 videos, uh, the actual value is 1497. I'm going to sell it to you for $497,000 discount. Plus with this, I'll give you a bonus of uh, $2,900 worth of additional videos and then some PDFs and some downloadables and he would also make me a member of a community and all that stuff okay so I, I i then i asked him okay how old are you he didn't answer the question directly but finally he said i'm you know a youngster i'm uh, below 16. so i said okay fine so then i asked him what experience do you have in business once again he gave me some big answers like uh, you know i i have been handling businesses being a consultant and all that so i decided i was going to ask him a question which he wouldn't be able to copy paste so i i i, I just asked him a very simple thing I, I i told him let's assume i want to close a customer who is um for a deal of let's say a hundred thousand dollars Okay, but now we are having uh, problems with regards to his bank, the transfer. How would you initiate? How what advice would you give me as a consultant to initiate this process? What are the solutions that I have? So when I asked him with regards to payment transfers, he got stumped. He was like, "Oh, can I get back to you?" Um, I said, "No, just tell me what you suggest." And somehow he managed to wriggle himself out. Oh, I'm I'm busy. I got a you, you know my mom and dad calling me. I'll talk to you later. So yes, kid. So what I realized is this guy has copy paste answers for the general stuff. He just wants to market his uh, website and not sorry. He just wants to market his video courses and whatever. Nothing else. Kept quiet for a couple of days. He followed up with me and asked him his website. No website. When I asked him everything else, um, he wasn't able to actually answer me. He is, his only expertise was this course. Okay. So this is a youngster who talks all big, big stuff and he follows, by the way, he follows Gary V. He follows uh, Dan Locke. He follows Grant Cardone, all these guys who show off their belt. Okay, so he sounded very much like that. This is incident number one. The second incident was uh, this young man, uh, 
he was not in his uh, 16, he was not 16, he was, I think, in 20, 25, that range. I didn't ask him how old is he. But he sent me um, a link to his website. I obviously don't want to share that. Um, but in that uh, website, he was standing next to an Audi and uh, he's wearing a suit. And he looked like, um, you know, he looked like one of the dancers from Gunnam style, you know. <laughs> He looked like one of those pop stars and he was standing next to another uh, young boy who was maybe even younger than him. Um, and, uh, you know, he had the typical internet marketing website where you're standing next to a, a, you know, Audi, very expensive car. Then below that, there were photographs of him being on the beach, uh, lying on the beach, obviously must have taken a photograph from, with a drone, then uh, inexpensive hotels. Uh, sitting with beautiful girls wearing bikini, um, you know, sitting next to the swimming pool uh, with his laptop, uh, beach shots. Then you had nightclub, then um, some houses. Uh, he claimed that he had properties, investments, um, and, you know, row of expensive cars. A couple of them were there. Um, and uh, some airport photographs that he's traveling around the world. He's living the, the dream. Um, the usual cliche stuff, uh, lawyer, uh, are, aren't you tired of the nine to five, the nine to five regular life? Aren't you tired of living, uh, having a boss on your head? Don't you want to be free? Make money when you sleep. You know, the typical internet marketing, network marketing bullshit jargon, uh, mar stuff that they talk about. So then uh, he recommended, he didn't recommend a course. He suggested that um, I should uh, focus on changing my brand completely. And what was his solution? I should pay him 10,000 US dollars. That is advanced payment. And he's going to be my coach. So he's going to coach me one-to-one, -one, once a week, and give me these secret strategies, how to specialize in Shopify, how to specialize on Amazon sales, how to sell T-shirts or whatever. The secrets gave me plenty of, uh, you know, uh, told me that I'm going to give these blueprints and secrets to make seven figure income or six figure, whatever. So, um, he, he didn't have any company. He just had his own website. Okay. His own website. So now when I asked him evidence to show me evidence with regards to his company, his business, he didn't have, any. he just had his photographs of traveling to different places being like a nomad or something like that, a digital nomad, as they call it. They keep traveling from place to place. So I asked him that, do you have any business experience? He says, I've experienced dealing with businesses, but I don't have business experience. So I told him, so you're going to be like my teacher, professor, and guide me about business, but you don't run a business. You don't have actual business that you run from which you can share your own experience. He doesn't have that. So he's going to tell me, theory, theoretical advice on something that he has not done physically. So it didn't make any sense. Now, these are two guys. Okay. The third guy, third guy was uh, this, this guy, um, he, he claims to be from this two comma club, three comma club, uh, whatever. If you're a part of click funnels, a comma is, you know, when you write, let's say a check, uh, every time you have a comma, it's, you know, it's like either thousand, there is one comma. If it's hundred thousand, and sorry, if it's one million, it's two commas. So this guy apparently was from a two comma club. He had a messenger bot whereby messenger bot is when you click on, uh, let's say, go to Facebook, there's a messenger, you click hi. This one had an autoresponder with multiple options and whatever option I clicked, a video popped up. Okay. So this guy apparently has a very successful business. He's he has a best-selling book on um, apparently which he wrote. When I checked that book, I found just 15, 20 copies sold on Amazon, rest and all five stars. But I never heard of the book. I never heard of him. I never heard of anything about the book. It's just 15 copies. You don't become a best-selling author with 15 copies. Okay. So I realized that was fake. And then he had these two comma uh, big frames where he had this award from ClickFunnels that he has sold um, you know, like seven figure income or whatever. Okay, fine. Um, but then when I try to talk every time this chat bot, so I got fed up and I, I started asking different questions and then they said, okay, we will have our team get back to you. 
So finally, I had someone get back to me. And when I did ask specific questions, uh, well, it, it was an actual person. I, I think it was a virtual, um, you know, virtual assistant. So the person turned out to be a consultant, doesn't actually run a company physically, but has his name, his name dot com as the brand. And he, is, he claims, he makes a lot of claims. He has, you know, the typical website with so many photographs of so many people writing amazing stuff. Below that is, oh, he has changed my life. Below that, video testimonials. So properly a well done website. But however, when I asked him, so you don't have anything that you're not running a business by itself. No, I'm a consultant. So then again, I asked him, you're just a consultant who is giving people advice on how to make money, but and you're making money through telling people how to make money and they pay you for the advice, but you have not done it physically by selling a you know, product, actual product. No, he has not done. His service is telling people how to become rich and that's how he has become rich. So it's like me coming out with a book on bodybuilding, but I'm not done bodybuilding. I don't know bodybuilding. I'm just advising others on bodybuilding. So it didn't make any sense. And um, once again, I refused. And his fee was like $50,000 to join my exclusive club uh, of group members, $100,000 one-to-one -one session, mentoring, whatever. So after these three internet uh, gurus or so, whatever, I, I had enough and uh, told a thank you. But what I've realized is, you know, you're getting these internet people who claim to click here and download this book or this video or this course or one-to-one -one consultation without any proper experience. I mean, if I'm talking about personal branding, I've actually done personal branding with myself, succeeded on that, tried it on products, tried it on businesses, have the uh, uh, you know experience uh, being 41 years old, have done it for so many years. The timeline is there on Facebook as evidence. The recommendations are there age old on LinkedIn. Okay, it's not just one day. Um, and you know, these, these incredible claims of seven figure, eight figure, I don't have any. I don't show an expensive car, expensive house, expensive jet, uh, mansion, nothing. But I give a lot of free content that people can access and use for their benefit and education and learning and improvement. So, but what I can't seem to understand is how can you claim that you're rich and successful when there's no evidence to it? How can you claim that you're a business coach when you don't have a business? It's like, if I go to Jeff Bezos, he has Amazon. If I go to Mark Zuckerberg, he has Facebook. If I go to Richard Branson, he has Virgin. But if I go to you and you have you.com as a website, virtual, that's it. How can you claim that you're successful? Taking photographs, anyone can take. I can pose next to a car and claim that it's mine. I can put all these grand figures and say it's a best-selling book and this and that. But that is the, that's the proof. And just because you buy a car, you can buy it on a loan. You can buy it through your credit card. You can rent it out. How do we know what is your actual net worth? So having said this, this has been my experience with three internet marketers, which I think, um, you know, you need to be careful if you bump into people like this. They have very strategic and very smart ways of selling stuff to you. Don't fall for it. And uh, remember this, there is no easy way to be rich. It's all hard work. It's all you with your experience. And trust me, these bookish advice, these videos that people give you, it's not going to change your life. It's not going to make any difference. So I just thought I'd share this experience with you. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like the video, thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. This is me signing off for now. Take care.